This is a demonstration of the new Ensol VX sizing software, the latest in the Ensol family of professional PV sizing programs. Ensol is an engineering tool which allows system designers to accurately size and calculate the performance of off-grid PV, PV generator hybrids, and grid-tied PV systems. Ensol has been used by PV professionals around the world for the past 19 years, and the latest version brings substantial enhancements to this powerful tool. Ensol has a completely new user interface, redesigned to make the workflow more intuitive than ever. All calculations and inputs are now on a single screen. There are five main areas. The taskbar at the top replaces the old menu structure with a simplified interface. The system summary and sizing panel is in the upper left. This shows a quick summary of the system under design as well as the controls needed to rapidly evaluate different system options. The data input panel is on the upper right. Screens for the PV module, battery, controller, site, and more can be accessed either through the traditional tabs or by clicking on one of the components on the summary panel. Enhanced system summary performance data is in the lower left panel. An experienced designer can rapidly evaluate the system design by monitoring this panel. The lower right panel contains the graphics and tables needed to show detailed system performance data. These are updated in real time whenever a change is made to the system. To show the power and flexibility of Ensel VX, I am going to design an off-grid PV system. The specifications from the customer are for a microwave tower on a mountain outside of Allentown, Pennsylvania in the USA. The main load is a 400 watt microwave repeater which is operating at 48 volts off a DC to DC converter with an efficiency of 85%. I will now design the system. These steps can be done in any order, but right now I'm going to use the traditional order I would use to design the system. First, I'm going to set the system voltage to 48 volts and give a name to the site. These are my target values which will be used later in the program. If I have different losses such as shading during the summer, I can adjust these values using the seasonal losses option. For the site, there is a complete database within Ensol. I can search by city, region or state, country or latitude longitude. I'm going to search Pennsylvania until I find Allentown, which is the nearest site. When I accept using this button, the data is automatically entered into the file. Next, I'm going to design my load. It is a 400 watt load and it uses a DC to DC converter, so the conversion efficiency is set to 85%. I can also specify loads in amps, amp hours per day, watt hours per day, and kilowatt hours per day for different applications. The load profile is set to day night since this is a 24 hour continuous load. If I set it to more day or more night, it will not directly affect the sizing, but it may affect the loss of load performance analysis described later since more or less of the load will directly align with the solar resource. The PV module can be selected from a database or the data entered directly. I'm going to choose a Kyocera module which has an appropriate voltage that can be used to charge batteries. Again, click on accept and it's in the program. 
the program is set to automatically calculate the proper number of modules to put in series. For a battery, I can choose from a database, choose by manufacturer, or I can simply use a generic battery for initial system sizing and then choose a specific battery later. Similar with the controllers, I can choose a batter, a controller, I can enter it directly, and I can choose between standard and maximum power tracking controllers. I'll stick with a generic controller for now. At this stage, I've selected the components and I'm almost ready to size the system. The first step is to define the orientation of the array. I'm going to stick the graph on tilt so I can monitor this and change the tilt value while I monitor the minimum insulation. Since this is an off-grid site, I'm constrained by my worst month because I have no battery, no generator backup for the battery. So I want to optimize this value for the worst month. I'm looking here and that appears to be the optimum, but really it doesn't change very much over a fairly wide area from 50 to 75 degrees. I'm going to choose 60 degrees, but it is important to recognize that you may choose a different tilt with a slight loss in power because of cost of manufacturing or wind loading or existing structures or factors such as that. Now I'm ready to size the system. I can either adjust the PV modules and battery using the controls or I can click on the automatic sizing buttons. So here I go to size the system. Click, click, and the system is done. I immediately see that there's a problem because I expected it to use a lot more modules than that. Sure enough, I go back and realize that I only entered 40 watts instead of 400 watts. Back to Auto PV and Auto Bat, and there's my system a 7 kilowatt array and a 1,400 amp hour battery to supply four days of power. The performance is shown on this graph, the array to load ratio versus the normalized load. I can look at the data and see how much excess energy there is, see what the losses are, and different factors.